So today I'm going to show you how I make homemade apple crumble. So you're going to need some apples. I'm going to use six apples. I prefer to use normal red apples than I prefer using coconut apples. I just find they have a lot more sweet taste to them, but each to their own, try with both. And then I use some brown sugar just to give it that sweetness with the pot and water. But I'm going to chop these up first and show you. So I have them all chopped up inside the pot. I've added a little drop of water and then the sugar. And what you want to do is put it on a high enough temperature and just leave it for like 10 minutes. Then give it a stir until it turns into a nice little juice. For making the crumble, you need to do uh, as much flour, you do half the amount of butter. Um, I put in four tablespoons of sugar and I put in a little bit of cinnamon. Just use your hands. And, oh, I melted the butter first as well, just a little bit to make this crumble in a bit easier. And then you just keep crumbling together. If it's still a little bit sticky after you're finished, add a little bit of more flour. If it's too dry, add a little bit more butter. But you just keep rubbing it together like so with your hands until you get a nice crumble feel. This is, this is how you want it to look, nice and crumbly to go on top. Um, I did add a little extra flour just because I knew I needed it. So we'll move on over here. I have some soup that was cooking, it's after over spilling. But, um, so this is the apples. It's been in now about 10 minutes, just kind of bubbling. You can see the water starting to bubble up. That's when you know it's nearly done. And also if you stick a fork in and you see everything is mushing that's when you know you're nearly done because you want to be able to taste the apples in the end as well when you actually put it in the crumble decided i'm going to just add a sprinkle of cinnamon in not a lot probably like half a tablespoon and just keep it mushing and it's only on like a half heat so then you want to get your dish you're going to put it in you can use butter i'm opting just to spray spray a teensy smidge of some a fry light this is the olive oil one just so nothing sticks and then you just want to pour in your apple mix strain out a little bit of the water first because you don't want too much water but you don't want to take all of it out because it contains a lot of juices you can see oh you also want to just have a little mix through and make sure there's no pips because you don't want anyone Sorry, coughing. You don't want anyone to get any in their teeth. And once you have it all in and you've kind of smushed it into it, you could divide this into two containers. I'm just gonna do one for today, but I like a nice thick base. Um, and then you just wanna get your crumble and just sprinkle it on top. Then once it's all on, all covering all the edges, you want to have the cooker already heated to 180 degrees, our gas mark four. And then you want to sprinkle a little bit of sugar on top just to add that extra little bit of sweetness to it. And then just pop in the oven for like 20 minutes. Check it after 20 minutes. Make sure the top is starting to get nice and crispy and crumbly. So I'm going to pop it in now for 20 minutes and um, maybe 15. We'll see how it goes. And then I'll show you what it's like then. So this is me checking the crumble and it's coming along nicely. But I'm going to leave it in another 10 minutes just to see how we get on. You can see how it starts to rise at the side. I probably should have done this in two separate tins, to be fair, but um, I was just trying to save myself the hassle. But yes, yeah, so it might have been a little bit too much because as it bubbles, it rises. So just keep an eye on that as it's cooking. I took a filter off just to show you what happened. So because I did overspill it or overfill the the apple it did kind of rise a little over but that's okay it won't affect the taste of the crumble or anything so i did leave this in for 20 minutes but because i'm not cooking it till later or serving it till later i took it out and then when i'm going to serve it for the dessert i'll put it back in for another like 10 minutes but it's got really crumbly on top 